Namaste everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Dr. Avishek Kumar. Today we are going to learn about the anatomy of urinary bladder in four part. First we will see the external feature of urinary bladder. Then we will see the posterior view of male urinary bladder and its relation. Then the true ligament of urinary bladder in the female. Then we will see the coronal section through the bladder and the prostate which show the interior of the bladder. So let's start our first part, external feature of urinary bladder. As we know the urinary bladder is the temporary storehouse of the urine which get emptied through the urethra. The bladder vary in its size, shape and position according to the amount of urine it contains. The external feature an empty bladder is tetrahedral in shape and the full bladder is ovoid in shape. This is the structure of empty bladder which is tetrahedral in shape. Here we can see one prostate, here this one is prostate. In brown color we label two ureter is there, two ureters. Two ureters are present. Then in clean green color, median umbilical ligament is there. Median umbilical ligament. This one is apex. Apex is connected to the umbilicus by the median umbilical ligament, which represent the obliterated embryonic urethras here we can see two lateral border we'll write here two lateral border one posterior border and one anterior border This is the base of the bladder. This is the neck of the bladder. Neck is the lowest and most fixed part of the bladder. It lies 3 to 4 cm behind the lowest part of the pubic symphysis. This is the internal urethral orifice. And this is prostatic urethra. This is the prostate gland, is the prostate. This complete the external feature of urinary bladder and its shape. An empty bladder is tetrahedral in shape. This is the structure of empty bladder. Now we come to the posterior view of male urinary bladder and its relation to the genital duct and gland. We will see all the structure which is related to the posterior view of male urinary bladder like uh, peritoneum, ductus deferens, ampulla, everything we will draw here on, your, on our screen. We can see uh, I am drawing all the structure, various structure which are present on the posterior view of male urinary bladder. All the part like peritoneum, then the seminal vesicle and its duct and the ureter. Then we can see the ampulla, then urethra, everything we will see. First with the help of a sky blue color pencil this part we color this part is covered with the peritoneum actually it is a base the upper part of the base is covered with the peritoneum we'll write here on our screen this brown color is ureter 
both the side ureter is there with the posterior relation of the urinary bladder then this is the ductus deferens ductus deferens is also present on both the side and this bulge part is the ampulla is also present on both the side both the side the ejaculatory duct is present here we will level ejaculatory duct this is the vesicle seminal vesicle is present on both the side along with its duct so we will write seminal vesicle and its duct on posterior view of urinary bladder the prostate is also present and below it urethra is also there of course and this triangular area is called the triangular area only you can see the exact triangular size and shape it is having so it is called triangular area this complete the posterior view of urinary bladder and its relation now we come to true ligament of urinary bladder in the female here we will make one big circle inside this big circle we will make three small circle second and third circle this one is posterior side this one is anterior this one is lateral ligament of rectum which attaches to the vagina lateral ligament of rectum in rec lateral ligament of rectum the middle rectal vessels are present in brown color the third circle is called urinary bladder the posterior ligament is coming this is the posterior ligament of the bladder which is directed backward upward along the vesicle flexus of the vein it extended on each side from the base of the bladder to the wall of the pelvis in this the venous flexus are present this is called the lateral true ligament of the bladder extended from the side of the bladder to the tendinous arch of the pelvic fascia this is called pubo vesical ligament in the female and in male this ligament is called lateral pubo prostatic ligament and medial pubo prostatic ligament in male it is called in female it is called pubo vesical ligament this circle second circle is called cervix cervix uteri cervix uteri this one is posterior anterior side so come to the lateral ligament of the rectum then posterior ligament of the rectum then lateral true ligament then pubo vesical ligament and one one more that is called median umbilical ligament these are the true ligament of the bladder now come to the coronal section through the bladder and prostate so is interior of the bladder this is the coronal section 
through the bladder and the prostate which shows the interior of the bladder here we'll make one triangular structure this is the trigon one more triangular structure and zigzag line the small triangular area over the lower part of the base of the bladder the mucosa is smooth due to its its frame attachment to the muscular cord this area is known as trigon the apex of trigon is directed downward and forward and the internal urethral orifice opening into the urethra is located here only here is the ureter in brown color and this is muscular wall of the bladder loose attachment of muscular coat you can see the empty bladder the mucosa is irregular folded this is the interureteric ridge in light pink color this is the trigone again in brown color this is called uvula vesicae uvula vesicae and this one is internal urethral orifice this one is prostatic urethra and in pink color urethral crest is there and this one is membranous urethra today we seen the external feature of urinary bladder then we seen the posterior view of male urinary bladder and its relation then we seen the true ligament of bladder in the female then we seen the coronal section through the bladder and prostate which show the interior of the bladder thank you very much do like subscribe and see